All right, so coming to us from Mafex's MediaCom blog here, if you've ordered the Batman Justice League Zack Snyder's version here, samples are on display right now, meaning it's going to be getting shipped out pretty soon, according to Mafex's blog here. Uh, end of October, beginning of November, you guys slowly should start getting them. So overall, you know what? It looks like a good figure. It really does. Um you know, it's got a nice face sculpt. It's, he's got, you know, a nice menace look to him. He's like, you know, like, you know, the intimidating look of Ben Affleck's Batman. The only thing, the only thing here that I have noticed, and I've noticed because I do have some Mafex figures, and sometimes it drives me nuts, and it happens with Robotech as well, too, is when you pose them, the gaps on their legs are so noticeable. There, you see what I mean? Like, look at that. That right there drives me absolutely bonkers. It's like, can they not fill that in, you know, allow the articulation to be there to give dynamic range, but just like not make it such an eyesore? I, I don't know. It's someone's going to have to figure that out there because it's that drives me absolutely nuts right there. And I know that it's very common with Mafex figures, right? So if you're posing them, like you got to be really strategic because that right there is not flattering <laughs> whatsoever. It just oh, it drives me nuts. But anyway, overall, this is going to be a good figure. It really, truly is. Like even the gloves there, the gold trim on it—they it, nailed it. They, it looks great. Just that little those things that Mafex has, with, especially Rebel Tech, is the gaps with the legs and the times where you go to pose them, and it's just so noticeable. It's like you got to be really strategic when you photograph it. Anyway, check it out right now. Let us know what you guys think. All right, take care, guys.